Majority Leader. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. CS nominee, uh, let me begin by asking from your academic credentials that uh, clearly looking at them uh, bottom up. And having said how you began your journey for uh, getting your degrees all the way to Harvard uh, Kennedy, it's Kennedy what? Kennedy School of Government. School of Government. What would you tell young Kenyans who may have started off life like you in terms of being able to pursue academic credentials later in life? That would be one. Two, you come from a region where the blue economy, as you say, holds a very huge potential to create employment. And I'm sure probably from your research you may have known that there have been efforts by the government uh, since 2015-2016 to try and get Kenyans to work in the Caribbean but have had problems uh, accessing visas to travel through the U.S. What will you do as Cabinet Secretary to ensure one that we are able to train as many young people to work in the maritime industry because there's very, a very huge potential, as you say, uh, to create jobs in that industry. What will you do to help Kenyans, one, train, two, access jobs uh, even outside the country? Uh, the other question would relate to the mining docket. There is a lot of unregulated and unlicensed and uh, what would uh, be tantamount to illegal mining around the country. What will you do as CS to ensure, one, that uh, any player who is uh, in the mining industry in Kenya is licensed and regulated. And that uh, also involves things like quarries. You've seen the recent cases uh, in Nairobi, in uh, quarry here in Mbakasi, where abandoned quarries are left unfilled. They have now become uh, graveyards for criminals. They are dump sites. What will you do to make sure that uh, anybody who is involved, even in quarrying, is uh, one taking care of the environment, uh, especially in getting to refill many of these quarries, and that that industry is well regulated and uh, anybody and everybody engaged in it is licensed? Nomini. Mr. Speaker, I would have I would have been completely surprised if. Uh, I was not asked the question of education. Yes, uh, uh, Jeanette? I'm question, but okay. Let me add something. We can, no, go on and ask a question. Oh, okay. Take those two. Yeah, Mr. Speaker, I want to ask the nominee two questions. The first one, Mr. Speaker, just to, to add to what the majority leaders ask. This issue of the education background, Mr. Speaker, I think uh, the nominee needs to, he has alluded to that now he's in the Kennedy School of Government at Harvard. We want to ask him to clear this matter because this matter, it, is, it comes up during elections and goes down after elections. It comes up during elections, goes away after elections, you win the election. We want, you to, we want to slay that ghost today here. Can you share with us from the beginning to the end, how it went. And my second question is that uh, where I come from, Lake Victoria, is next to it. What do you think you will, what do you, will you do as the Minister for Maritime to improve the lives of the people there in terms of fish industry? The fishing industry is almost collapsing. What, what programs do you think you will put in place to make sure that livelihoods are supported there by, by the people who are doing the fishing? business or fishing in, in the Lake Victoria area? Chair, maybe uh, since he had begun answering that one on academic credentials, besides what you would say, CS nominee, to young Kenyans, uh, and uh, from what Junet is saying, it's clear that many people who serve in public office suffer certain prejudices from Kenyans uh, regarding the academic credentials and all that in your past probably you can uh, contextualize that in that. 
I am certain there are many Kenyans who are surprised that you can even converse in English. <laughs> Many, there are many who are asking how you would be able to be vetted. I understand. You cannot converse in English. I understand, Mr. Speaker, and uh, I must first of all say it is, it is almost normal uh, for people to cast doubt of Wapwanis. Sometimes, and Owen Bay and Mishi Boko probably will bear me witness. But we, are, we can and we are as qualified as any other Kenyan. Now, Mr. Speaker, I want to, to walk you through my eco, uh, educational journey and where I drew my inspiration. More than what you did? No. To respond to the question, okay. I want to, to, to walk you through how I achieved what I achieved and I'll continue to achieve. With brevity. Without a doubt. Mm. Mr. Speaker, first of all, I want to mention that uh, I drew my inspiration from one, Professor Ali Masrui.